Hello, my dear Abu. Alhamdulillah. Hello, Uncle Yusuf. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you, my son? I'm fine, thank you. How are you, Uncle? Inshallah, I'm fine. Which story are you going to tell me today? Inshallah, I will tell the story of Abdullah bin Masood radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Story of Abdullah bin Masood radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Abdullah bin Masood radiallahu ta'ala anhu was born in Mecca when he was a young boy. He worked as a shepherd. He was very courageous and a brilliant young man. Abdullah radiallahu ta'ala anhu first met the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when he was with his flocks. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam approached him and asked him for some milk to quench his thirst and to get his strength back. He said to the Prophet, I am afraid. I cannot give you milk. These sheep are not mine. I am only responsible for looking after them. The Prophet and the companion did not argue with him. In fact, despite their thirst, they were extremely pleased with his honest reply. However, they got enough milk to quench his thirst. Huh? But how? Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam touched a sheep and the milk started pouring from the sheep. It was then that Abdullah radiallahu ta'ala who realized that he was talking with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his sahaba. He was very impressed with the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And from that day, he became very close to them. When he narrated this incident to his mother and his brother, they got converted to Islam as well. He loved and respected the Prophet ﷺ so much that he asked for Prophet ﷺ's permission to serve him for the rest of his life. Prophet ﷺ agreed as he liked Abdullah. From that day, Abdullah radiallahu ta'ala anhu remained close to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and served him for more than 30 years. He attended the Prophet's needs both inside and outside the house. He worked as a personal servant to the Prophet, taking care of the Prophet's bedding, sandals and traveling. He used to screen the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when he was taking bath he used to wake him up after sleep and walk with him in the wilderness. Abdullah radiallahu ta'ala anhu used to read Holy Quran regularly and he got a deep understanding about Holy Quran. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam considered him as one of the four foremost experts on Holy Quran. He was best at reciting the Holy Quran among the companions as he understood it better. He was hence the most knowledgeable person on the Islamic law. Once a man came to Umar bin Khattab when he was standing on the plain of Arafat and said, I am coming from Kufa where I met a man filling copies of the Holy Quran from his memory. On hearing this, Umar anhu became very angry. He paced up and down beside his camel. He was very angry and upset. He could not tolerate anyone who is doing this as he considered it as a disgrace to the Holy Quran. He inquired about the name of this man who was writing copies of the Holy Quran. The man said the name of the man was Abdullah bin Masood. Hearing Abdullah radiallahu ta'ala anhu's name, Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu's anger subsided. He said to the man, By Allah, I don't know of any person who is more qualified in this matter than he is. Also, Umar ta'ala anhu narrated an incident that happened some time back. One night, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was having a conversation with Abu Bakr ta'ala anhu about the situation of Muslims. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam stood and listened to him. He then turned to the Sahabas and said, as fresh as when it was revealed and then let him read according to the recitation of Abdullah bin Masood. Abdullah radiallahu ta'ala anhu received a unique training from the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He followed everything what the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said and adapted his manners. Hence, 
people used to tell that he was the man closest to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in character the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam trusted abdullah radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu in such a way that he did not need any permission to walk in into the prophet's home and what the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam liked most about him was his quran recitation abdullah radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu had an in-depth knowledge about the verses of the holy quran he used to share his knowledge with everyone too once umar bin al khattab radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu met a caravan during one of his journeys as caliph it was pitch dark and the caravan could not be seen properly umar radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu ordered someone to stop the caravan from where do you come asked umar radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu from a deep valley came the reply using the quranic expression faj amiq and where are you going ask umar radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu to the ancient house came the reply from inside the caravan using the quranic expression al bait al atiq umar radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu was so impressed and he commanded someone to ask the person which part of the quran is the greatest then someone answered allah there is no deity except him the living the self sustaining neither slumbers overtake him nor sleep replied the person answering quoting the ayat al kursi umar radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu was surprised by the answers coming from inside the caravan he asked again which part of the quran gives risk to the greatest hope say o my servants who have wasted their resources do not despair of the mercy of allah indeed allah forgives all sins he is the forgiving the compassionate he asked many more questions and he got the most satisfying answers from inside the caravan there is a learned person alim among them said umar radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu to his companions umar radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu then asked with a smile is it abdullah bin masud inside yes by allah the men outside the caravan replied it was abdullah bin masud radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu inside the caravan in addition to this abdullah radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu was a great soldier too he had participated in many wars against the prophet's enemies huh but how yes he was a very courageous person too one day the sahabas gathered in makkah they were very few in numbers they were unable to recite the holy quran in the public as the enemy would attack them if they were found so the sahabas asked each other the enemies have not yet heard the holy quran being recited openly and loudly who could recite it for them abdullah radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu came forward and said i shall recite it for them however they were all worried that the enemies will harm him so they tried to stop him but he did not agree with them he said allah shall protect me and keep me away from their evil he then went out to the mosque until he reached maqam ibrahim which was a few meters from the kaaba it was dawn and the enemies were sitting around the kaaba abdullah radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu stopped at the maqam ibrahim and began to recite the holy quran hearing abdullah radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu reciting the verses of holy quran enemies got angry they turned against him they went up to him and began slapping on his face however he did not stop reciting when abdullah radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu went back to his companions blood was flowing from his face he proved that nothing can stop him from reciting the verses of the holy quran That is why once the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said read the Quran in the same manner as Abdullah bin Mas'ud radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu recites Abdullah radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu lived till the time of Khalifa Usman radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu when he was sick and on his deathbed Usman radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu came to visit him Usman radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu asked him Shall I give you your stipend which you have refused to take for years now he said he did not want the stipend then khalifa usman radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu asked him 
whether he wished to give the stipend transferred to his daughter's name he asked the khalifa do you fear poverty for my children i have commanded them to read surah al waqia every night for i have heard the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam saying whoever reads al waqia every night shall not be afflicted by poverty ever khalifa usman razi allah ta'ala anhu was amazed by his reply he had so much faith that he knew allah will save his family when he was gone he passed away during the same night that khalifa usman razi allah ta'ala anhu visited him his tongue was moist with the remembrance of allah and with the recitation of the verses of his book may allah have mercy on him may allah have mercy on him it is time for me to go now i will see you soon next time when i come here i will tell you more stories sure uncle it was a really nice story thanks a lot uncle you welcome my son may allah bless you ma salama ma salam uncle yusuf